In the beginning, there was dust. And from that dust, the moon was born. Eons of idleness passed, before suddenly, it shattered. Great celestial chunks cascaded from the heavens unto Earth. From one prodigious shard spawned humanity, and from another, the gods. For a great many years, balance endured, until a foul and malevolent deity intervened. Exil spread greed and distrust among his kin, compelling these calamitous beings to conquer man. Centuries of servitude passed, until finally, aided by a veiled ally, humanity revolted. The Great Crusade overthrew the old gods, imprisoning them within the sacred walls of the Citadel, at the expense of untold lives. A peace was wrought, but it was not meant to last, for the miscreant Exil returned from his concealment, conducting atrocious experiments upon his caged kindred. A darkness permeated the lands. Rivers stagnated, crops failed, and the world of man began to fade. The great moon, witnessing all, wept a final shard, a shard of the purest obsidian. And thus, a glimmer of hope remains. Elder Souls, press any button. Hi, I've been here the whole time. What a story. What a great uh, setup for all of this. This is a bunch of stuff I don't need to... That help. That does nothing. Eldest Souls is um, a Souls-like. Two centuries have gone by since the something happened. Although the old gods have been chained, the kingdoms of men lay scourged by the desolation. A lone warrior approaches the ancient citadel in search of retribution. Oh, that's us. We're the lone warrior, I bet. Go about Crusaders Landing. So I have actually played a little bit of this to check it out. And we have this top down. Oh, and a trophy. <laughs> right off the bat, just for starting the game. Light attack. Okay, good. So we have our light attack. Where's I don't have a sprint button. But I do know there's a dash. I am playing on the PS5. But yeah, we have a Souls-like game. It's top-down and kind of 8-bit, 16-bit, whatever you call it. It's all good. Hit it. Nope, interact. Okay, we're not going to hit it. And how about the other side? Open our door. So this is the little tutorial. Charged attack. Just like you would. And always smash barrels. Yeah. Charge attack. Okay. What's this? Oh, a tomb. Oh, yeah, that refills all of our health, and it's basically a checkpoint. Dash. So we have our dash. We already know how to use it because we tried it. And. And. If you don't dash through those, they will kill you instantly. Which is kind of wonderful, I guess die right off the bat. I died a lot the first time I tried playing this. I like died two or three times just trying to do that. Pick up a harp string. Very good. There's no like other sprint button or anything, which is unfortunate, but ooh, I didn't see that before. Broken great shield. I don't know what that's going to do for us. I am obsessed with smashing barrels and stuff. I know there's a, over here a little item we can pick up. It is the Abyssal Effigy. A little crow or a raven or whatever it is. One of those birds. From my experience in this game so far, that I've played a read. That's a lot of reading. We're, you can pause on that screen if you want to read the whole thing. I'm not going to do that. I don't have the, the patience for that, really. 
despite the fact that I have the patience to go around and just cut down every box. And all bundle of obsidian spears, their tips brittle and dark. The use of obsidian was completely forbidden by the old gods, but with their demise, the material has resurfaced within the lands. However, the craftsmanship of the mysterious material is rudimentary at best. As the stone metal appears, I <laughs> go back. As the stone metal appears brittle and uneven. Lore. I don't, I don't really pay attention to a whole lot of the lore, even though we had that nice detailed setup of stuff. In our little explanation. I'm not going to read this one either. Do my son and some other stuff. Other words. Up here we have oh, our first boss. The watchdog. So we need to dodge. Nope, I still got him. Charge in. Smack, smack. Get out, get out. Something they will tell you throughout this battle is if you charge in, you get your gauge, your little middle gauge there up on the top. Get out! Refill. Ooh, I missed. And that'll go all the way red, and then as you oops, attack more, your health refills. Oh, here we go. Lifesteal. Fully charge attack to gain bloodthirst. Then attack the enemy to lifesteal and regenerate your health. Which is what we've been doing. Hold the close. I just was in the middle of explaining that. Break through with bloodthirst. Oh, I already did that. I already did that. Oh, so you're just gonna let me do it some more. Perfect. That was close. Dodge. Dodge. And charge in. Smack, smack. Get out! Good. Get out! Ah, still got hit. That's alright. Now we have to break through and then fully blood burst, fully charge attack to gain blood thirst. Okay, so we already know about that. Then trigger blood burst to destroy the enemy's defenses. Destroy it! We are fully charged. Oh boy, power up. So now we have to watch out for different attacks or maybe more powerful things. Get out of the way! Get out! Get out! Get out! Uh, what's gonna happen? Try to get in, in between attacks. So I always like to wait for an attack, and then I'll do my thing. And it gives me a good estimate of my timing. And nope, get away! Get away! Fully charge, and then break through. Nope, I missed. Go, go. Nope, it's still... Uh, there, and then do that. There it is. No! Nope. You're almost dead. I need to have patience. There it is. And we get a trophy, and now it's watch us end it. Plus one skill point also. Uh, there is a lot going on here with the skill point trees. I, however, am just going to go ahead and take the raise the wind slide. I did read these the last time I tried playing this, and so I selected this when I did it before. It seemed like the best option for me and my play style. And break through. Good. We go up here. <laughs> And we have the, this is the outside of the citadel. We'll see this citadel in just a moment. But for now, I want to go ahead and check around the area. Pick up whatever this is. Wall guard insignia. I don't know what that does. Oh, there's the citadel. Yep, thanks. And over here we have... Talk. <laughs> Ed the Wanderer. Ah, Crusader, I see. My congratulations for making it past that beast. But I'm afraid even more await within the Citadel. Ed the Wanderer, they call me. As you can guess, I have traveled far and wide throughout the mainland. From the dunes of the sunset desolation to the shores of Essen of the Dawn, 
What wonders I could tell you of, Knight. Na, na, na. I would love to sing a hymn for your bravery, but as you can tell, my harp has been damaged. This might well be the last one there is. Sad, isn't it? Na, 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 Say, na, what point na, na. is there living in a world devoid of music and beauty? Sometimes I wonder. Give harp string? Na, yeah, because we picked na, it up na, earlier. Na, Where did you find this? Outstanding. I'm guessing the Crusaders brought along musicians to praise the feats of their future victory, eh? Na, 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 na. Poor souls, I wonder what might have happened to them all. Wonder no more, they probably all died inside. <laughs> Anyhow, so we have the Citadel entrance. And over here we have our checkpoint. And we can travel to and from these different checkpoints. And in here we have our entrance to the Citadel. We're going to take the Citadel next time. But for now, it's time I left. Hey, if you're enjoying the content, remember to like and subscribe. Or don't. I'm not your boss or your life coach. I'm not going to tell you what to do.